Hey, everyone. hello, captains. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. Razgrease Gaming here, and hope you had a fantastic 2020. Uh, as the ball dropped, I know a lot of people were not happy with the recent update, and you know, with the Puerto Rican Garizia. Uh, we'll talk about that that some other time and don't worry guys we're gonna do reviews on those ships so if you guys haven't been make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys get um, notified when that video does come out that way you're on top of that however that's not what this video is about this video is about the current update is soon going to be on our doorstep 0 0.9.0 .0. yes it's that time of the year again where we start the same numeral unos again and then it goes to 9.1 so on and so forth but this one is going to be a little different so let's go go through the update which will be coming out wednesday so you're going to have early access for everybody to the british heavy cruisers hawkins devonshire surrey and Alba, uh, sorry for you British guys, I apologize right now. Albemare. I, I, that, that, that name is just bleh, tough to say. Drake and Goliath are not available yet, but at least these ones will be available. Um, basically you'll have high explosive. These things are going to have higher armor than compared to the other ones. Um, tier 10 is going to have calibers up to 234 meter, uh, millimeters. Um, with armature penetration from the high explosives up to 58 millimeters thick. Additionally, the repair party consumable is capable of restoring 60% of non-critical damage. Um, so you guys are going to get directives, 36 missions spread across the four directives. The first directives will be available on the release of 0.9.0, .0, and those will be locked the following week. Completing missions will bring you signals, expendables, camouflages, credits. Completing directives will reward you with British tokens. Embrace tokens, then you can guys uh, replay, and you can get your early access to these British ships. Some people like me, I like I I don't like doing that, but it, it, it is what it is. Um, anyway, so the contents uh, are currently available will be visible to you. Each exchange uh, contents will be an next random bundle visible to you. Bundles do not contain ships; may uh, appear more than once. So, like you said, here's the Imperial Bundle. You spend the, the balloons or that, and you can... So here's the credits. Here's the balloons. So, if you spend 20 of the tokens, this is what you can get. I like the coal paint, thankfully. But if you guys can see, you can get a lot more coal from actually unlocking. And of course, you guys are getting those Union Jack camos again. Now for the next big thing we'll talk about. Um, by the way, guys, British tokens. Will, will, this is what will happen in 0 0.2. Um, that will be the last update for it. And each one token will be a rate of one. Will equal 4,500 credits. So, clan battles will start on January 22nd, which is a week after the fact, on Wednesday. So that's going to be a little crazier now. Now it's going to be 7 v 7. Maximum one battleship, and we for you guys out there, the rewards will be 11,000 steel and additional wars as well, which probably is coal and other things. Here's the kicker with this season, which is going to be called for the eighth clan season Sea of Fortune. You get Hotspot, Sea of Fortune, Tier Desert, Crash Zone, Alpha Mountain Range, Land of Fire, and North. And you're guaranteed a, uh, a cyclone is guaranteed to appear in each of the following maps. Mountain range, land of fire, and north. Spotting range during a cyclone is 12 kilometers instead of 8 in random battles. At the point of time in which the cyclone appears, as well as its duration, is strictly uh, predetermined and won't ch don't change. Um, we'll we'll go into more detail if you guys are interested. Let me know if you guys want more details on this season of clan battles. We're willing to talk into it. Now for probably the most controversial thing we gotta talk about. Unique upgrades. We all know that you were grinding them for quite a long time if you're certain of them. And 
rightfully so, like some of mine. I, I don't have all of them because some of them are not even worth your time getting. Some of them are complete uh, downgrades for your ship. So it's not even worth getting them. Um, opening towards these changes we promised uh, for unique upgrades. We've updated the way which they are obtained. At the release of 0 0.92, unique upgrades will re appear in the Research Bureau tab of the Armory. The changes and combat missions for unique upgrades will also change. The combat missions and rewards for unique upgrades for Tier 10 ships will receive... Uh, can still be received uh, until the update is 0.9.1. So the next update, guys, if you guys don't finish any of your unique upgrades you're currently grinding, you got one more update to go. Finish them before this patch because 0.9.2 is changing to the research bureau. Um, we'll go into more details on that. Um, any missions, um, combat missions uh, already obtained prior to this point will expire. December 31st, 2020. So if you guys have any missions you want to do, you gotta finish them by the end of the year, actually. Um, we're gonna update the existing upgrades and add a few new ones in the future. Well, about time. We, we, we missed a few. Um, we also, they added chips to collaboration of a pair of blue steel. Um, custom ships becoming premium ships now. So, all these ships here are now going to get a, uh, <laughs> finally, finally, a premium mark. We're also getting three new ships for the Lunar New Year for the Pain Asians. Um, you can actually look it up on a dedicated uh, article on learning how to get them. Now let's go look at the game balance changes. This, this is actually something that we always need to talk about a little bit. Hindenburg, the guns are going to get reduced, their shells uh, reload is going to go from 10.5 to 9.8. Alright, um, Montana's going to get a buff to its heel, and the repair party is now clipped into other researchable uh, U.S. battleships. So, now Montana's equal to Iowa, Missouri, and all that aspect. Makes it fair. Soviet Kremlin's health uh, pool of its AA turbots are reduced by half. In addition to good armor, her large AG pool, um, basically, they're, they're nerfing Kremlin's uh, uh, AA protection against uh, enemy ships. And here is the one I really, really am glad about. The Tier 8, Tier 7 Destroyer Bliskovitska. Um, they're buffing this ship, finally, after so long. Uh, the horizontal aiming angles of the main turrets have been extended on both sides. And the traverse angle of her torpedoes have been, uh, have been extended. So, basically, they buffed it a little bit so that you have a bigger ability to shoot more open. You don't have a confined position for shooting. The guns are good. The torpedoes are good. So, I'm glad they're actually giving it a slight little upgrade. Um, French. That, that French tier 3. Flusher, that's getting buffed. Um, Club Bear and Mugador are getting slammed in this patch. Bigger concealment um, by land and air. Um, gun shot in smoke is increasing. Detectability range of her torpedoes is being increased. And that's between both ships. So bear with this in mind, guys. Um, I think they're just saying that they want to make it a little tougher for players. On uh, time to take for, for Henri, time takes for the engine to reach full power has been increased. The acceleration parameters and engine boost uh, consumable activated has been changed. So basically, um, they're nerfing the speed that this thing does. It's Han Han. Uh, of course, they fixed a couple bugs. Um, we're getting new camos. This is a new one. I like it. Volunteer. Um, this is going to be for the Royal Navy. And here's the testing, guys. They're going to start testing the European destroy uh, destroyers. There it is. Volunteers, developers, and community contributors, guys, are going to start getting that. So, hopefully you guys are going to like that. And, last but not least, let's see what the last thing was. 
yeah, these these are this is something I actually was glad about. They're adding more, of course, HDR light models for a couple of maps: Okinawa, Wars Path, Sea of Fortune, Atlantic, and Trap. So hopefully you guys are gonna like that. On top of that, they're also buffing or actually updating the. Uh, yeah, they're updating the armor. As you can see, guys, before it was a really different color. Now it's a completely different spectrum. And this will allow you guys to actually, and I think this is actually a good point, is you can look now a lot better where the torpedo bulges so you can precisely hit where you need to hit a ship. So you stop hitting the torpedo protection, and now you're going to actually hit those citadels. But bear with it. On most cases, it's going to probably do more overpen, so it gave you take what you take. Um, I think that's pretty much for this update, 0.9.0. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the update. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Do you think that you're going to be, uh, looking forward to trying some of these new ships? There's Hawkins. Devonshire. Sorry. And, uh, God, I hate seeing this name. Albert May Marley, uh, Marley. That is a tough name to say. Jesus. Yeah, these are bad taste in my mouth every time I have to say that. Um, by the way, guys, those directives has to be completed. Um, you have the directives can be completed until February 10th. Uh, my local time is East Eastern Standard, so 5 a.m. So please make sure you move as quick as you can if you're trying to get some stuff. It, you, if you guys push hard enough, you should be able to get all the ships pretty easily. But Remember, it comes through your daily ship. You got to get the tokens, and those tokens can turn into things. 20 tokens give you a chance for any of these items. So, good luck to you out there, captains. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, leave a comment. If you guys like it, hit that like button. As always, take care, and I hope to see you all on the high seas.